Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Windows XP in 2015. This episode is going to be about hardware. For example, what is the latest hardware that will run Windows XP um, easily, so like getting drivers. So, let's get started. What we need to do is we need to go and look at um, computer manufacturers' websites to do this. But before we do that, I'll give you some information on the hardware that I'm using to make these videos. Uh, the X people, the XP computer I'm using anyway. So, firstly, we have a 148 gigabyte hard drive. Okay, and the system specifications for this computer are. An Intel Core 2 Duo P8700 at 2.53 GHz and 2 GB of RAM. This is the computer that most, if not all, of these episodes will be done on, however there may be a couple of virtual machines used to do this. This is a Dell Latitude E5400 and this laptop is, was made from 2008 to 2011. For example, head over to the Dell driver website. So, so let's look at Dell's pages. Um, you'll notice that most of the computers that support XP, the newest ones, are business computers. So we'll be looking at the Optiplex line of desktops and the Latitude line of laptop computers from Dell. The latest I could find were some of the 2012 computers from Dell to have XP drivers for them. The latest desktop, like mainstream business desktop that run, runs Windows XP, um, at least as I can see so far, is the Optiplex 9020, 9010, uh, the 9020 might run, run it as well. So as you can see, we're on the 9010 page. And we have drivers for Windows XP. Now if we scroll up, you'll notice that it says mid-2012, right up there. Let's take a look at some of Dell's laptops. We're going to look at the Latitude series, as that is their business line of laptops. I'm using this laptop here, the E5400. However, we're going to look at some newer than that. We're going to look at... So, yeah. As we can see, this computer also has Windows XP drivers. This is Dell's mainstream 2012 business laptop at 12.5 inches. Um, We're going to look at some more. Here we have one of Dell's 2012 A5000 series laptops with a 14 inch display. This also has drivers for Windows XP. As we can see, most of the computers that support Windows XP are business class computers rather than home grade computers. Because the 2012, in fact, even 2011, um, in fact, 2010 Intel models from Dell do not support Windows XP drivers. However, the 2009s do because the Intel 1545, which was released in 2009, supports Windows XP. We don't Dell's Intel um, page for drivers now. I'm going to go to 1545. You didn't use those, oh, on the Instagram 1545 page, this is actually a late 2008 model that was sold until 2011. Um, first, before we continue, I'd like to apologise for any background noise that you may hear in this video. I'm trying to be as professional as possible here. But I can't help that there are people in the rooms behind me making rackets. I'm not saying who those people are. Now, here's proof that 
The late 2008 Instagram 1545 was made until 2011, 2010 but sold in 2011. Support the XP drivers. Now, this might have supported XP drivers, but even though they had slight changes of the hardware, for example, they started off with Celerons and then Pentiums and they ended up running Windows 7. Um, but they started on uh, Vista. But as you can see, we have Windows XP right there, and we also have a pop up for automatic updates. Yes, I'm running XP and I'm getting automatic updates. Um, Most computers that run XP are older. For example, I've got one down here that I can show you. This computer right here is from 2006 and it runs Windows XP and it came with Windows XP installed on the computer. Um, this computer also supports Vista but it doesn't support 7. Um, so as you can see, most computers that do support XP are older but there are business class computers that do support XP to as late as 2012 spe specifically Dell's we're going to take a look at a Dell on that anyway apologize for any stupid things on my desk I don't put them there here we're looking at a Dell uh, Del Vostro 220 tower computer. I don't know how well you can see that, but blame the shadow of stuff. But this computer came Windows Vista and an Intel Pentium processor. This computer runs Windows XP fine. In fact, it runs it very good, in fact. And this was, of course, released in 2009 or 2008. This one is a 2009 model. Now we've looked at computers themselves, we need to look at actual hardware devices, such as this Bluetooth keyboard, or this USB mouse, or these Dell speakers or that Dell monitor right there or even this camera that I'm using to film this they all require drivers to run on the computer quickly and the camera itself you don't need drivers because you can just use the SD card at the camera but if you put drivers on there you'll be able to plug the camera directly in and you use the camera's built in software So, this keyboard right here is a Bluetooth keyboard. Windows XP supported Bluetooth. And this keyboard works fine with it. Now, I'm unsure if this computer has Bluetooth or if this keyboard has any battery. But I can always try and I'll get back to you. Sadly, it appears that this computer does not have Bluetooth support. But, if it did, this keyboard would work fine because I've used this keyboard with XP computers, uh, multiple computers, in fact, Windows 7 computers, XP computers, uh, Windows 8 computers, and even um, an Android tablet, and it works fine as long as you've got Bluetooth on your computer, of course. This mouse, because it's not a very advanced mouse, does not require drivers, but if you buy an advanced Microsoft mouse, um, for, or for a mouse with more multiple buttons on it, um, other than two buttons on the scroll, you may require a driver. And XP still has uh, driver support, and even if the drivers weren't there, you could still use the mouse without the drivers, and it would work fine. Um, what about syncing my mobile phone? This is a Nokia Lumia 
6.30 and it runs the Windows Phone 8 operating system. But the Windows Phone app, as you can, as we'll look in a minute, does not run on Windows XP. This phone does not need any drivers to connect because it's a, it acts as a USB storage device when connected to the computer. But Windows XP doesn't do it very well as it detects it, at least on this computer. Maybe it needs an update. Look, this is a camera and it won't show anything. However, the Windows Phone app for desktop does not work on Windows XP. As we can look at the requirements, you'll see Windows 7 or Windows 8 and therefore it will not work with Windows XP but it would, if I did all the updates, recognise it as an actual phone instead of a camera and it knows it's there because it's, I'm getting popped saying it's a Nokia Lumia um, 630 is connected to the computer but um, Windows doesn't have the right updates to recognise it correctly but the are other phones that work great with Windows XP. In fact, people still think the XP is. Um, people still develop software for Windows XP, for example. Um, you can still get Adobe Flash and so on, like important system applications. And while this is mainly about hardware, we're going to be talking about drivers. Um, that means that if people are making programs for Windows XP, people are going to be making drivers and they'll still have the tools to make drivers. Although of course Microsoft really don't want them making drivers because they want people to buy Windows 8 computers. Or next year Windows 10. So there will be another hardware episode coming up in the future. I am actually getting another computer that I can run XP on. But the next episode will definitely be a software related episode and at some point we'll have a usability related episode. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.